Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be looking at the top five City of Tweaks for the end of October 2012. This will be a two-part series, so be sure and check the second part for the second five. Anyway, the first five I want to take a look at, the first one on the list is called Banner Borders. And what this does is it puts a uh, ba uh, border around your banner. Uh, that's a little bit tongue-tying, but anyway, let's go in here and look at it. And here's where it looks, a little round B, that's the, um, and that surprise mode, that, that means it's, it picks whichever color that it wants out of this list here. Right now, I'm going to set them to pink, and let's go in here and turn on the test banners so we can get some banners going, and my activation method will be triple press, and we'll reassign that. So when I triple press, you see I get this big ugly pink. Let me turn this brightness down just a hair. Okay, now you can see that banner border. Okay, so what you can do, you can change that to the thickness. You can change it to the from to be different colors. So let's choose one more color. And let's say we want it to be uh, purple. So now when I triple press, you see I get this purple banner. It's not as visible, but you see it just does change. Cayenne, let's see what cayenne looks like. It's sort of like a big bright bluish green. But anyway, that's what banner borders looks like. Another pretty cool tweak is called pinch to unlock and it puts this uh, settings under here pinch to unlock apparently it doesn't put anything so let's go over through here and see if we can find anything on the springboard Okay, pinch to unlock is pretty self-explanatory. There's no settings or anything to configure. All you do is lock the device and you pinch the screen. Instead of swiping, you pinch your screen. And you see how simple. There's no settings or anything that it configures. You just install it and use it. It's called pinch to unlock. Another cool one is called quick emoji. And what quick emoji does, let me get this up, uh, when you go to your notes application or any application where the actual springboard or the keyboard comes up, it replaces these bottom five keys here with emojis. And you not only just get those five, but you get hundreds. If you hold the keys down, you see you get a, a list of many different ones that you can swipe up here and choose and release your finger and it'll type that. Same thing for the sun. If you hold the sun down, you get like footballs, basketballs, all kinds of different figures. This is pretty uh, useful, but keep in mind that people that don't have an iPhone or a device that reads emojis won't be able to see it. They'll just see a bunch of scrambled up looking letters, so keep that in mind. Another code tweak is called Spot Email. Spot Email, all you do is you come over here and in the search bar, you type the email address. I'm going to type my email address. Okay. Now I hit the search, and it automatically will open up a new message to that person's email you typed in the search bar. A very quick, convenient way to send messages. Another code tweak is called VS Notifications. VS notifications speaks what's in your notifications. So let me go ahead and turn this on and we'll enable speak title and we'll turn on speak message. All right, now let's go ahead and see what it does. And you can't hear that because the volume is turned down so low. Alright, still yet it's very, very 
try this now. Sample notification. Fake iTunes notification number nine. Sample notification. Fake iTunes notification number ten. Okay, it, you can set it to read the message uh, completely or just the title or just the message and not the title. And you can set it to disable banners if you don't want it to put the banner up there. You can turn that on and it'll just read. Okay, you can turn on disable sound. You can do a lot of different things. But for some reason, I ain't. Okay, there it is. Okay, now you can get it to speak title and the message without it putting the banner up there. If you turn that off, the banner comes back. Alright, so let's turn this off. Now the banner will be back. Okay, that's called VS Notification. Another cool one is called Swipe Away. What Swipe Away does is it allows you to swipe down or up to dismiss all the apps running in the background on your device. So let's go in here and make sure it's enabled. Swipe Away. I always do that, don't I? Alright, I got it set to Swipe Down. You've only got the two active gesture types you got up or down so I've got down selected so let's open up app switcher and when I swipe down when I do it properly it will actually dismiss the applications and it's and it's a little bit hard to do but you see right there I got it anyway that's a cool one all right guys I think that's probably more than five. Check them out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and keep.